everyone, I'm Rewan Mary Shelby Yap from Grade 4 Hosea. Today, I'm going to cook for our dinner later. Let's go to the grocery store and buy some ingredients that we need. My ingredients that I need to prepare are rice, egg, garlic, onion, salt, pepper, chicken, flour, or fruit, fried oil, or We will keep aside these ingredients properly so they will not spoil. One, refrigerate or freeze perishables right away. Keep your appliances at the proper temperatures. Three, check storage direction on labels. Four, be alert alert for spoiled food. 5. Clean your hands, surfaces, and produce to separate raw foods from ready-to-eat foods and cook to save temperatures. The most important step to remember before preparing food is to wash and dry your hands truly. Now prepare the kitchen tools and utensils that we'll be using in cooking. Make sure that tools and utensils are clean before you use it. It is important to take the necessary steps to clean before, during, and after preparing and eating your food to keep you and your family safe from food poisoning. There are three steps needed to effectively clean and sanitize utensils. 1. Washing 2. Sanitizing 3. Drying Utensils such as cutting boards, bowls, and knives. And knives need to be truly washed in warm, soapy water. After washing, the utensils should look clean and there should be no food or anything else visible on them. Effective cleaning will remove most of the dangerous bacteria present. Sanitizing will then kill any that might remain. All utensils must be truly dried before they are reused. Air drying is best but tea towels can be used if they are clean. If you are if you are washing up in an event being held outdoors, make sure you have access to plenty of hot water. If hot water is not available, disposable eating and drinking utensils should be used and enough cooking utensils provided to last the duration of the event. So that washing up is not necessary.
Now we are done cleaning the things we need to use. Now let us now start cooking. Always cook food truly. Do not particularly cook food and then warm it up later. Cook chicken until juices run clear. Beef steaks can be cooked to preference. Dangerous bacteria to safe levels if it is done properly. Remember that some food poisoning bacteria can protect themselves from cooking and while they will not present in enough numbers to make someone sick. Just after the food is cooked, they can start growing again. If the cooked food is left at temperature between 5 10 Celsius and 60 Celsius for too long. This is why cooling cooked food quickly is so important. After eating, cover it, wrap them in our airtight package, or seal them in storage containers. This practice help keep bacteria out, retain moisture, and prevent leftovers from picking up odors from other food in the refrigerator. Immediately immediately refrigerate or freeze the wrap up leftovers for a rapid cooling cross contamination is a major cause of food poisoning and can transfer bacteria from one food to another usually raw foods to ready to eat foods food safety is important as it helps to protect consumer from the risk of foodborne illnesses it also helps to prevent consumers from risk of health-related conditions such as allergy and even death. Access to sufficient amounts of safe and nutritious food is key to sustaining life and promoting good health. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this mini-vlog. Thank you and have a great day.